next best action makes uh, makes recommendations basically to users based on their customer data and their business logic. Now, why I said that because I have this uh, screenshot and I'm going to use it as a case study here, right? Now you can see here that there is a case where you can see there is an upgrade request, and now the NBA here is basically used by your your um, customer service agent, and you can see that there are two options that is being offered to the client. Either they can go for a high-speed internet service or they can go for a TV bundle, right? Now, depending upon the answer they're going to get from the client, another next best action will pop up, so on and so forth. So that's how um, NBA works. Another example, a very quick one, I'm just going to uh, you know, point it out here. Let's say there's a service um, agent, okay, and and he is resolving a case, and it's it's negatively impacting customer satisfaction, and they happen to be, you know, coming up for a contract renewal. Now, based on customer's contract length and uh, their purchasing history and their current CSAT, um, the recommendation that might pop up. Uh, would be either to offer that client a two-year contract instead of one, or maybe just you know throw in a discounted service or a product on top of a year, um, a year-end contract offer, right? And and don't get me wrong here. I mean, so these recommendations are not just based on offers that you can make. I mean, they can also be some action items. So, for example, let's say if there is a case which is like negatively impacting your CSAT, well what what is what is the action item that you can take other than making offers well maybe we can send out an email right to the customer um apologizing for the issue or asking for some more information so you can help them more with so this is all amazing amazing stuff um that uh next best action can do for your business and can help your team with tons of uh work All right, so the last one, the last feature of this webinar that I'm going to talk about is case routing. Now, um, remember how I talked about using uh, two Einstein analytics feature and combining them and making it way more powerful? Well, it doesn't just happen as a, um, so let's say for NBA, Right. So you have NBA and if you use um, um, Einstein discovery on top of it, then you gain, then then you are like uh, making it even more powerful. But then there are certain features for which you can actually use another feature as a prereq. So, for instance, for this Einstein case routing, um, there's a feature called Einstein case classification. And uh, you need to have that before you set up your case routing. And why? Because case classification basically updates automatically uh, the fields based on the history of, you know, um, the cases that that, that um, customer service has, customer service agent has been resolving or the kind of cases that he has been getting from a particular client. So based on all that information, Einstein case classification will automatically populate a lot of fields for the agent, right? So once you have that ready, now you can go on and even make it more streamlined and more efficient by making use of case routing. Now, what that does um, for for so so if I have to simply put it, right, in simpler words, case routing basically directs your cases to the best suited queue or agent, you know. And um, through this case routing, they're, I mean, they're able to cater um, to more complex routing than it was previously possible because it includes a lot of factors. Factors such as uh, your agent skill set uh, or their past resolution success rate or, um, or any other factor, you know, and, and they're gonna use these factors for precision, right? So they're, gonna, they're not gonna send an XYZ case to an XYZ client, uh, customer service uh, when they see that, okay, it's not even relevant to their skill set, 
right? Because that's not going to be a successful um, CSAT score for them in the end. Okay, so what that does for so what so this all of this case routing, how is this beneficial for your business? Well, it's going to lead to faster resolution time, right? Um, it's going to um, oh, and even even more so more important um, um, impact of case routing is that you get this like this entire case routing you're getting the cases directed to the best suited queue or agent you you get this um uh, you because it's like optimized continuously so what does that mean really it means that even if your team changes somebody leaves one of your agent left or one of your manager left it's still gonna keep on optimizing your cases based on the data it had um, and it's it's going to send it to the best queue but to the best agent irrespective of what's got, what's changing on the back end so whether the change is related with the team or the change is related with well you have all this amazing complex portfolio of products right and and the products keep on changing well maybe you you have discontinued a product you don't use it anymore anymore well it doesn't matter what's going to change it's it's going to keep on optimizing all of that for your business and you know what the best part is it's going to do all of that without any admin intervention so how cool is that right all right um all right so i think uh, i kind of covered um this slide already so no need to go over this all over again just before i put a full stop here you know, I'm going to just say that um, all of these features, um, they are super powerful. If you know, they're only powerful if you're, if you're choosing the right feature for your business, right? So all of these features are great, but you need to think and analyze that what feature goes best for your business.